subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is special types of inflorescence chapter morphology of flowering plants special types of inflorescence now besides the racemos and cymos types of inflorescence there are certain special types of inflorescence first is cyathium now in cyathium inflorescence many flowers are produced and these flowers are unisexual achlamydias means without any accessory whorl there are no accessory whorls means no calyx and corolla the male flower is represented by the stamen and the female flower is represented by pistil or carpel now these flowers develop from bracts a whorl of bracts call the involucre in this case fuses to form a cup shaped structure with an opening in it now this is the involucre that has fused to form a cup shaped structure with an opening in it at the center of the involucre develops a single single long stalked female flower surrounded by a number of short stalk male flowers now as the female flower matures it grows and comes out of the cup shaped structure the male flowers lying just to the female flower they mature first while the one lying away they mature later so such type of inflorescence is known as cyathium now cyathium inflorescence is the characteristic of family euphobiaceae euphobia see example euphobia and poinsettia now these are the two examples this is the involucre that forms a cup shaped structure with a single male, female flower which as it matures comes out of the involucre and surrounding it are a number of male flowers these are the male flower while single this is the single female flower that has come out of the involucre another example this one is this is the cyathium the cup shaped structure with a single female flower that is the pistillate flower that grows out of the cup shaped structure and inside the cup develop are present the male flowers next is hypanthodium now in hypanthodium inflorescence the peduncle that is the stalk of the inflorescence gets modified into a cup shaped structure with an opening which has an opening called the ostiole inside the cup shaped structure develop unisexual flowers which are of three types male flower female flower and some neuter flowers so this is a hypanthodium inflorescence 
where the peduncle has formed a cup shaped structure inside this cup shaped structure at the base develop the female flowers and at the upper part develop the male flowers and in between the male and the female flower develop the neuter flowers at the lower part of the inflorescence develop female flowers at the upper part develop the male flowers and in between the male and the female flowers there are neuter flowers example of hypanthodium inflorescence is the genus ficus ficus that is banyan tree fig and people this is the hypanthodium inflorescence with an opening called the ostiole the lower ones are the female flowers the upper ones are the male flowers and in between the two are the neuter flowers so ficus fig that is anjir and the last type is verticillaster now in case of verticillaster in these plants the leaves are usually having opposite phyllotaxy means the leaf grow opposite to each other on the main stem and developing on the axil of the leaf is the inflorescence at the axil of the leaf develop the inflorescence in the axil of the leaf first develop two branches in opposite direction that terminate with the flower from the two branches then develop two branches in opposite direction which terminate by a flower and after which scorpioid cyme is seen means at first dicasial cyme is seen that is developing from the main axis are two flowers in op two branches in opposite direction that terminate by a flower after which the monocasial cyme means a single branch develops and the branches develop in zigzag fashion that is scorpioid cymesy now the pedicel of the flower is so small that the flowers appear to be concentrated at the nodes the pedicel of the flowers are so small that the flower appear to be concentrated at the nodes verticillaster inflorescence is the characteristic of family labiati the new name of which is lamiaci this is the ossimum family ossimum or the sacred basil or the tulsi family this is your ossimum that is tulsi and this is leucas you can see that at the nodes of the leaf develop flowers that appear to be concentrated at the node but they are arranged first in the form of a dicasial sign and then monocasial scorpioid sign same can be seen in case of your tulsi that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching